Hi guys, hola kut. Here Clotha Alexander, aka Dr. Step, aka Dr. Momo, aka Dr. Black Mosquito, aka Dr. Bannock, aka Dr. Picnic during the summer. Then on that clinic workout with Dr. Step. Today it's a part one of two part of hockey workout. Why hockey workout? It's it's simple as that. Is that like since uh, the pandemic, all the arenas around the city of Montreal were closed. And they opened last week. So Monday, I played a game, and it was the best feeling ever. But there was one thing. At the first period, I was pretty rusty. At the second, it started to be good. At the, and at the third, I was outstanding. But it's not that I was out of shape. It's, that, it's just that the timing of my game was not as sharp as it used to be. So... I got to get back on my foundation workout. So on part one and part two, you will see simple stuff that like I usually do during the season to keep my game sharp. I brought my goalie stick. I didn't bring the goalie stick that I usually use on the ice because this one is a shorter goalie stick because I won't be in my skates. I bought my mitt, I bought my blocker, I bought my agility ladder and a 25 pound, and I brought a snack for the kids so they could at least, you know, have a little bit of snack while I work out. All right, so let's do this, part one. It's a blast. First drill is uh, just uh, it's just a drill that helps me to warm up my stance technique. So first of all, I I try to do my level of stances. Then I'm gonna use the ladder to keep my stance, original stance, glove hand forward, blocker steady, just move in a semicircle, forward and backward. You can do it with your gear on if you want to just to help your feet be ready for your game. I use my highs and coordination with the ladder. Between exercise, I always do planks. Having a good core is essential to the sport of hockey. Second drill is a slow drill called head shoulder, knees, and toes. Yeah, just like the song. So, I visualize a puck. I move my head, then my shoulders, then my knees, having the right leg to stand up, then I go back on my toes. So, shoulders, knees, and toes. So, it's just a small exercise to remember that you have to use your head, your body, and get up on the right leg And the last one is a core up power hold. You use something heavy, now have a 25 pound dumbbell. I use the same concept of head, shoulder, knees and toes, but this time I want to get up on the right leg and push up the fastest as I can in front of the puck. This is gonna help you when you have multiple shots that you have to make a lot of saves, especially on the screenshot, to face the puck. 